Good morning, Rebecca. I got up early and did some research. There's a sperm bank not far from here. How convenient. <laughs> no kidding, do they have a drive-up window? Mama, that we could go down there, and once you see these places are legitimate, you won't be so upset. I don't want to go to a place like that. It's too embarrassing. What if one of the neighbors saw me going in? What would they think? But you're picking something up for a much younger person. <laughs> Mama, please. It's really important to me. Blanche, would it help if I were to go with you? Well, I'll come too. I'll bring my camera. <laughs> it's never too soon to start a baby book. <laughs> oh boy, we're going to a sperm bank. <laughs> I can't think of a better way to pep up a slow day. Ma, you're not going. Why not? I don't think you should be doing anything as strenuous as going to a sperm bank until you've had that checkup. Too bad. All right, I'll go to the doctor, but this better be a great sperm bank. <laughs> so, I guess we're going? Oh, I guess. I... What does one wear to a sperm bank? Something attractive and rubber. That. Did you see the way those people on the elevator looked at us when you pushed five? I'm so embarrassed. Mama, they didn't look at us at all. They didn't want to make eye contact with anybody going to the fifth floor, the sperm floor. <laughs> I think you're overreacting. Perverts looked at us like we were perverts. I know that look. I thought it'd be more bank-like. What'd you expect, Rose? I hardly think they have a Christmas club. Hi, I'm Rebecca Devereaux. We have an appointment with Dr. Manning. Right, he'll be with you in just a few minutes. Why don't you have a seat and I'll call you when he's ready. I'm not here for me, it's for a friend. <laughs> How did things go at the doctor, Sophia? He said I had the body of a 40-year-old. A dead 40-year-old. <laughs> the doctor's gonna be a little while. I guess we ought to sit down. I suppose it's safe. <laughs> Mama, you're acting silly. Sperm can't live outside the human body. Does your mother know you're doing this for a living? You know, I'm not so sure sperm can't live outside the body. Back during World War II, my best friend, Claire Osterhaus's husband, was in the army and stationed in France. Well, five months after he left St. Olaf, she got pregnant. A lot of people thought she was fooling around, but she told me that sperm must have swum from Normandy, across the Atlantic, up the St. Lawrence Seaway, into the Great Lakes, and then over to Minnesota. And what did you think, Rose? Well, I know those little guys are supposed to be good swimmers, but I think it had to come over by mail. I bet this is more fun than giving blood. I've waited long enough. That doctor has wasted enough of my time. Come on. Miss Devereaux, the doctor will see you now through that door, end of the hall. Come on, Mama. Eyes straight, ladies. Ma, no opening doors. <laughs> and that's pretty much.